from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. I want to remind you guys who try to have relationships. Again, I I keep trying to tell you, you, you just don't need to do this. But you do it anyway. I want to tell you about a danger that lurks behind the woman you are obsessed with. And that is this. The woman you're obsessed with may have sisters or a friend or two who are your worst enemy. They sit and dissect everything about you. They know what the first date was like, what you tried to get away with, how far you got, whether you were any good at it. They know every little detail. And may I say, The other women take a very skeptical look at you, especially if they themselves do not have a boyfriend or a husband. It is only natural, I believe, when women are alone, they want all of their friends and their sisters and everybody to also be alone at the same time. Because it's my belief that most women hate each other. I will do anything to sabotage each other, even under the guise of friendship or sisterhood or whatever. And uh, you guys out there who are hoping to uh, have a relationship with somebody, just remember, these women are your enemies. They are your enemies. There is no doubt. They are constantly working against you. Anything you say that in any way is perceived to be insensitive or mean, anything you say that's wrong, any perceived slight, any birthday or anniversary you forget, any gift you forget to hand out, whatever, they're keeping tabs on you. Remember that night when she said, don't worry about it, honey, it happens to everybody. Remember that? When you forgot to pack the Viagra. (laughs) You remember that night? Yeah, they know about that. Oh, yeah, they know. You know, all those times that uh, you said to yourself, well, I don't care if she's having an orgasm, I'm having one. The girls know about that, too. And they uh, are constantly on your case. Ever get the feeling when you walk into a room and your girl is there with her sisters or her female friends, they look at you like you just caught them talking about you. That's because they were. And it wasn't good. That is generally the case. And by the way, boys, my recommendation to you is don't try to suck up to these girls. This is a big mistake guys make. Do not try to suck up to these girls. Don't be offering to take them out on a date with you and your girl. Don't be offering to buy them dinner. Don't be offering to buy them drinks. Don't be (laughs) smooching up to them. Don't do it. It's not going to help you at all. In my mind, the best thing you can possibly do is just leave her with her friends. Leave her with her sisters. Do not get involved. Do not socialize with them. Do not sit at the dinner table with them. Do not come over on holidays. 
You let her have her time with her sisters or her friends. And just know that what they're doing is they're talking about you. And if any of these uh, pigs, any of these hogs, any of these homely individuals actually manage to snag a boyfriend, they'll also be talking about him and dissecting him. Trust me when I tell you. There's just no two ways about it. There was a time when I would date people and I would think it was a red flag if I didn't meet their friends or family. Now, it's my rule. I will not meet your friends or family. I don't want to see them. I don't want to know them. You take whatever time you need to be with them. That's fine with me. I'll find something else to do while you're busy. Trust me. I have no interest, none, in meeting anybody close to you. I have no interest in seeing you and your friends sitting together at a table, all sitting there with their arms folded, waiting for you to buy them a drink. Ever face that? You ever walk in on two or three of the friends or the sisters, and they're looking at you like you ought to be doing something, like you ought to be uh, offering to buy them dinner or you ought to be buying them a drink? Just don't do it. Don't succumb to that. I tell you regularly on this show, the, the, the idea of living alone, enjoying what you have, not wasting money on broads, you just have no idea how good it can be. And unfortunately, most of you are going to have to put your hand over the flame to find out that it's hot. You'll do it several times before you come to the conclusion I've come to. My life has never been better. I've been living alone now for several years. And it has been great. Great. All right. But I know that most of you are going to end up doing it anyway and finding out the hard way of trying to ease the pain here. Stay away from her friends. Stay away from her sisters. Stay away from them. Stop worrying about what they're doing, what they're saying. Stop trying to kiss up to them. You're never going to be able to kiss up to them successfully. Just stay away. Makes sense, right? Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. If I'm blessed enough to meet my soulmate, why would I go and blow it with marriage? It's the Tom Likes Show. Yes, it's the Tom Likas Show. You betcha, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Great. Good. Man, I can hear you a lot better now. Hey, uh, you know, I, I think there's two sides to every guy out there. One side that's sitting there listening to you going, damn straight, that's exactly right on. And then another side that says it's kind of sad that one can build a relationship because they haven't succeeded at it. And I don't know. I, the stance I've taken, I'm married with three kids now. The stance I've finally taken is uh, that you can. You can build relationships, and it can be better than anything else out there. Well, the it's like I always say, you can also jump off. Uh, what What was the uh, guy who fell out? Of, was it 46 stories or something like that? It was some ridiculous amount of... Of stories, there was a story um, over the holidays. Some fellow fell out a window and survived. <laughs> and now it is possible to fall out of, you know, let's say, a sixteen-story window and live. It's possible. Should we all jump? That is an excellent analogy. I would say no. Do not all jump. But at the same token, I, I, I was listening to you, thinking he's right to an extent. You know, all the hard times I've been through with my uh, my spouse. But. Uh, here I look back 10 years ago when we got married, and I go, you know what? There's something to it. There's something so much better when you can make it work through all the crap that goes on. And uh, Something and great about winning Powerball, too. <laughs> you got away with words, and I don't know how to respond to all of them, but uh, <laughs> it, I, I don't think I'm the only one that's won the lottery, so to speak. The, uh, the number of people who win this lottery is, is getting less and less as the years go by. I know. Why do you think that is? 
because, uh, as I have always said on this program, you're only as loyal as your options. Hey, well said. So it depends on if you're buck-toothed or not. And Well, not only that, but uh, nowadays, women who used to be barefoot and pregnant in your home, they you know, go out to the office, and they tart themselves up to go into the office. Uh, of course, uh, they've got cell phones and pagers and 17 email addresses you don't know about and MySpace and Facebook and any number of ways of encountering other people. You know, that makes sense. I truly, when you go from state to state, and I never realized this until about five years ago, there's different cultures everywhere. Here in our culture in Idaho, it's amazing. Around me, I see nothing but happy married people, and maybe it's a big facade, but myself, it's taken about eight to ten years to get it figured out somewhat, and uh, couldn't be happier. So, if I've, and that, and I'll, analytically speaking, if I would I never tell lie. somebody, by the way, I would never tell somebody who's happy, oh no, you're not happy. I mean, if you're happy, I think that's fantastic. Uh, but I'm sure divorce attorneys are doing land office business in Idaho like anywhere else. <laughs> and there is the other side of me that, uh, like I say, about five years ago would have said, man, you are right on. <laughs> but it's sad. I hope that uh, hope that those that think that way can find a way through it and uh, be as happy as they can be with somebody. who. Well, uh, the, the reality is you can be happy either way. Amen, brother. And and the fact is that uh, you, you're guaranteed uh, to have yourself to be with. So the, the the most important thing in life is to learn to be happy alone. If you're lucky enough to actually find a person and to be able to stand to listen to them 24-7, well, fantastic. But uh, I say your whole life has to start with the building block of loving being alone. And then if you decide you want to be in a relationship of some kind, uh, at least you've always got that fallback position if things don't work out. But most hey, I, people I talk to are scared to death of their own shadow. They're scared to death of living alone, being alone, having people think they are alone. I was just having this talk with my buddy because he, his wife is strangling him pretty much, not not literally, not be nothing to speak of over the radio. But he, uh, he says, man, I can't go anywhere without her asking where I'm going. And uh, she's too dependent upon him. And I think that you get to the point where you can be independent first. Then you learn how to be interdependent, and that's where it gets really cool. But it's not good to be dependent upon one another. Well, again, I, I'm perfectly happy being independent. I have been married and divorced. I like it this way. But if you're happy your way, fantastic. Thanks for the call, Brian. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Travis on the Tom Like Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I uh, love your show. Thank you. Um, I, uh, I was listening earlier, and you basically described my ex-girlfriend to a T uh, regarding them talking to uh, their friends about everything about you and what's going on and, you know, all that. And uh, she basically, she was her godmother, so, you know, I could see what you were saying when your friend, you know, you said that uh, their friends, you know, don't, don't really want to lose them. And... Uh, she was basically a loser herself, uh, had several kids from different guys, still single, living off the government. So, you know, she uh, picked a real winner there. And uh, ultimately, that's what ended it, because her friend could uh, see right through me. I never really spent money on her or did anything uh, special just because, you know, I'd like to keep that for myself because I work hard for it. So, uh, you know, that's basically... Uh, what I wanted to say. Now, by the way, this person you're talking about about all these kids, are you talking about an ex-girlfriend? Yeah. And you had a girlfriend like that. Why? Uh, you know, she was uh, honestly really hot, and the sex was great. But uh, That's what the other fathers of her other children thought. Oh, no, that her uh, that was her friend. Uh, oh, her Max. friend. Okay. Yeah, that You kept using the pronoun her and she, and I wasn't clear whether you were talking about your girl or her friends. No, yeah, she, uh, my girlfriend didn't have any kids, but she was, you know, her friend's godmother for all of her several kids. By the way, uh, your friends are you. Do you believe that? Aren't your friends uh, like you? Well, yeah, you know, uh, now I live uh, actually with my brother, and, uh, you know, our other roommate skipped out, so now it's just he and I, and we get along great. You know, he doesn't have a girlfriend, I don't. 
and we do our thing, and that's pretty much it. And we don't have to deal with each other's uh, problems on that end either. Well, uh, you know, I believe your friends are you. So if your friends are single mothers who have kids with several different dads, frankly, yeah, well. I think you got some of that in you. Oh, yeah. Well, she uh, she basically had it all planned out, you know, told me constantly that uh, she could be married, you know, right now. And that sounded insane to me. And, uh, you know, she would always be jealous about all her other friends getting married and, you know, to the point where she'd cry about it. And I'm just, you know, I couldn't handle it. And uh, she wanted to have kids by the time she was 24. She was 21 at the time. And I'm just thinking, you know what? She's out there looking for some guy to to fill this spot that she keeps talking about. And right now she's looking at me like I'm going to be that guy. And the whole time I was listening to your show and thinking about, you know, everything that you said and you basically kind of described her to a T in a lot of ways on a lot of your shows. So what are you going to do? Well, I had to get rid of her. You did get rid of her? Oh, yeah. How'd she react to that? Well, she she had a lot of problems uh, growing up, you know, with uh, adoption issues and just previous abusive relationships and things like that. And so, uh, you know, her, her personality, was she would, she'd, she'd go through my cell phone and ask me about the calls that I'd made, if they were female names. And uh, she, like, went through my drawers and actually found a card that my ex-girlfriend had given me. I forgot it was there. I didn't even know it was there. And she ended up finding it. It was buried beneath a bunch of stuff. And that caused a, a huge problem. And so... Uh, you know, I, I just couldn't handle the, the psycho business. Good. So that, you know, that was it. And, you know, I've been in other relationships before that, and they didn't work out. So, you know, it's it's a lot better meeting a lot of different chicks in a shorter amount of time. And you can, you know, have have a little more fun that way. And it's, it seems to be a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, I'm able to save a lot more money and... Uh, you know, just got a boat and everything, so I wouldn't be able to do that if I stayed with either one of these girls because they're talking about diamond rings and eating at nice restaurants. And, you know, I never really took them out just because I don't eat at nice restaurants normally. So, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to do something like that and put the bill. Uh, I understand, and I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. So, anyway, that's uh, basically all I had to say. You know, a good example, and, uh, you know, there is a way out. Uh, you know, it's never too late. You know, even if you're down to the point where you think you're getting married, you know, I've seen it, and it's gone bad for a lot of my friends. Half of them are divorced, and uh, I just don't want to be that guy. So I don't think anyone else should either. So that's it. Could you blow me up? You know I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Mark on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello, Tom. I've been listening to you for a couple of years now here in Dallas, and uh, buddy, what you just said made a lot of sense. I always wondered why do me and my wife for the last ten years get along so well? It's because you nailed it right on the head. To be married and to have a happy marriage, you have to like to be alone. And me and my wife, we love to be alone. Mm -hmm. There are times. There are times whenever she'll ask me, "Hey, do you want? Do you want me to take the kids?" Blah, 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 so you can be alone? And my answer is always a resounding yes. Yeah. And same thing with her. I always ask her, do you want me to take the kids to Chuck E. Cheese or wherever, you know, my son and daughter want to go? And she's always like, yeah, I would like that. I think alone time is critical. It is. It's very critical. And, you know, another thing is, I mean, not to fill a bus on your show, but thing is, don't change. Don't ever change. If you're a slob when you met somebody, stay the slob. Right. I'm I have it. The only thing that's ever changed about me is I stopped sticking it to other women, and I'm I'm okay with that. I'm a complete. I know a lot. I know a lot of my friends that have been married twice, and one of the major reasons besides money is is because you're not the same person that you were when I met you. Uh, it's because they changed it to the person that your wife wanted you to be. Yeah. Well, I'm a complete jerk. I'm an a-hole. I'm proud of it. I am too. I mean, I'm a five. I'm the same way. I'm a complete jerk. I'm an a My wife says it all the time, but for, she likes it. Like I tell you, you would not be here if you did not like it. This is the exact same way that I was. It's the way I'm going to be till I die. And it's just, I mean, it works. And I think that you hit, I always wondered why, and you hit it right away. You're a genius. 
That's all I have to say. Well, thank you for that, Mark. Uh, you have a good evening. You too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? You're the king. Like you, John. What's up, brother? Um, I've been listening for uh, about six years now, and uh, I get everything you're saying, and all the girls and girls out to get you and stuff. So I just I keep it on the on the quickness. You just hump them, and dump them, and that's the way it goes. So this, hump them and dump them. Yeah, this girl that uh, I was dating uh, a little while ago. So like a couple weeks ago, her friends, like, always try to talk crap and, oh, he's not good enough for you and all that stuff. So I just kind of, like, play along with it and go, oh, yeah, I just believe him, blah, blah, blah. And finally I just got fed up with it and I just dumped her. Like, you just, you can't, you can't take that crap. It's like, uh, she was, like, too clingy and a bunch of stuff like that. And finally... A couple weeks later, her cousin wanted me, and I uh, got some of her too. So that's the way you go. <laughs> you don't need. You're 21. You don't need a girlfriend anyway. I know. That's I've been doing that. My dad's been telling me exactly like you. He just don't get a girlfriend. You're gonna get her pregnant and all that stuff. I just play it safe. Make sure that you're on birth control and all that stuff, and just find a way to get them. Like, uh, and by time. the way, use a condom. Don't ever believe that they're on birth control because they lie about it. Always, always. And uh, one time, I remember you were talking a while back about uh, the Hail Mary. I did that before you uh, put it on there, and I was like, wow, well, well, mm -hmm. I actually did the right thing. So uh, I love that. You always help me out, Tom. You're the greatest. I'm here to help, John. Can you uh, take me out African tribe style? African tribal style. You know I can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kota le nenge, asika mama. Oya kota le nenge, asika mama. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Courtney on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I was calling because I just heard one of the callers. He was a guy. He was saying that he was dating two girls, and he got rid of them because they wanted nice things or to go out to fancy restaurants. Well, not all girls are out for that, and they deserve to go to a fancy restaurant every once in a while. They nobody, a nobody, nobody deserves to go to a fancy restaurant. Well, some people do. Nobody deserves that. Why do you do oh, There you go. She had no response to that. Nobody, sweetheart, nobody deserves to go to a fancy restaurant. Period. You know, the last time I went to a fancy restaurant, I went with a male friend of mine. A hockey player, to be specific. And we went to a very, well, I'll tell you what restaurant we went to. We went to the Wolfgang Puck restaurant, Cut, at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. And this uh, hockey player friend of mine called me up on the phone. He said, what are you doing tonight? And I said, uh, I'm just sitting here, you know, watching ESPN. He said, why don't we uh, go have dinner? Now, that's that's the way to do it. By the way, when we went out, we spent a fortune. You know how much dinner was? $1,300. We each had uh, Kobe steaks. They were um, about $20 an ounce. So it, it, each steak, we had about 10 ounces. So each steak was like 200 bucks plus wine. But uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. No chicks around. No cost for me. Having to pay for a chick's dinner. Got to eat it. The thing is, do I love great restaurants? You bet I do. But uh, why would you want to waste your money and time taking your girlfriend out to an expensive restaurant? Why? You got friends. You want to eat in an expensive restaurant? Call your buddies. First of all, your buddies are going to pay for their dinner. 
Like, how many times do you want to go out to dinner, but you you know you're going to pay for your girl to go too? When I go with guy friends to dinner, we not only have great conversation because it's devoid of chicks, but also the other guy whips out his credit card and he pays too. How great is that? Please. Tom. Tom. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Guys look at sex the way we look at pizza. There's pizza for square pizza, round pizza. There's pizza from uh, the old-fashioned mom and pop store. There's pizza from Pizza Hut. The way guys look at pizza is there's no bad pizza. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I'm 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. And uh, I talk about those uh, those sisters of your girlfriend, who your girlfriend to be, or their best friends. Wants to sit around dissing you all the time. Oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Oscar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. Son, how are you? Great, great. How about yourself? Great. Well, listen, this is my situation. I got this girl, right? I've been dating for a while. Well, not dating because I'm not in a relationship because I follow the Tom Likas rules. But anyway, she's got this friend. She's doing the whole marriage thing, and she's trying to convince her that what we're doing is wrong somehow. So she's always throwing these tantrums, her friend throwing these tantrums and cussing me out and, you know, trying to tell me all this stuff. And I just finally told my girl, I was like, look, you know what? I was like, this ain't even nothing serious between you and me, so I don't have to listen to this. And I kicked her out the pulpit. DTB. Good. Be like, done with it. Do it. Move on to the next one. Ain't that right, Dad? Well, hum it and bump it. But don't even let them ever think that they're the girlfriend. Don't even do it. Exactly. Never, never. And I think the mistake I made, the first, the only mistake I made was actually meeting her friend. So, but hey, live and learn. Wow. Can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus, please? Yes, indeed I can. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. I just wanted to call and thank you. I called you uh, probably a little over two years ago, and I took your advice, and I got a divorce. Uh, my wife had, uh, you know, cheated on me or whatever, and took your advice, got a divorce. And in this past year, I've fallen all of your rules. I've saved over $20,000. Twenty thousand dollars I've put in my bank account and investment account by just following your rules and not spending money on women, and I've gotten laid more this year by more women than in my whole entire life. Wow! Wow! That's a, that's a fact. I love that. Last weekend alone, I went to Vegas, got laid three nights in a row. Same chick, three nights in a row. Didn't spend a dime. She spent money on me. Love that. I I could I can't thank you enough. You changed my life. Seriously, I I'm you know saving so much money. It's unbelievable, unbelievable how much money you spend on these women. And you're still getting laid. And I'm still getting laid. And the best part about it is, you're right. You don't have to tell them what they want to hear. I never thought the a hole thing would work, but you know it doesn't work on them all. But the ones that it doesn't work on, you just leave them and go to the next one. It's going to work on one of them. That's right. And it's unbelievable. I swear, those of you guys out there listening right now, just think about it, $20,000, what that can do for you. I mean, for some of you, that's a car, right? I mean, uh, it's unbelievable. Thank you so much, Tom. Hey, can you take me out with uh, a Kobe style, please? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here. Look at these calls. So many. 
Paul, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Paul. Hey, um, all right, I got to tell you, I'm 17 years old in high school, had a girlfriend. You know, everything's going great. I find out she's cheating on me, so I confront her about it. I get the whole thing, oh, you know, I love you, but I also love him. No way. Call her up. DTB. I'm done. All thanks to you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, son. Right. By the way, now do, now, do you understand now why you don't need a girlfriend? Have you gotten the message here? I completely understand. You know, and I should have learned my lesson, Tom. I've been listening to you since I was six years old. All right. I should have learned my lesson. But you know what? I lapsed. That was my error in judgment, but I know now you're right. I'm about to go to college. I've already been accepted. I'm interviewing for Yale tomorrow. You know, my life is getting on track, and I'll be okay. I don't need a girlfriend. And another thing I learned for you is that things do happen and go that way. Prenup. Nothing without a prenup. Right. All right. If I ever get married, prenup, and if she says no, DTB, I move on. Bing, bang, boom. You don't even need to get married. Why do it? one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Cherie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? I got a statement on your, um, the, no one deserves a good night. I'm having a good dinner. No one deserves that, no. Well, you're wrong because when you're having a good time with your buddies just because they pay for, you know, pay for their own meal, how about when you're having a good time in bed with your old lady? What, they, are you a hooker? I am not a hooker, but if you, I mean, if you go. Tell you what, if you would like to pay for your meal, I'd eat dinner with I mean, you, but. I mean, are, are those guys going home with you at night? Again, you're a hooker. You're so, a hooker. Is what you're saying, hooker? what you're saying here, dear, and of course, now we see the level of your logic. What, what you're saying here is, by having sex with me, I owe you something. Therefore, you're a prostitute. No, what I'm saying is, if you're in a relationship and having a girlfriend, you know, a, having a girlfriend, I'm. And that doesn't mean I owe you dinner. Okay, let's put it this way: Do you love your mother? Well, my mother died in 1998, about ten okay, years ago. Well, okay, before I'm sorry to hear about that, but before 1998, do you love your mother? I mean, did I love my mother before 1998? I did. Okay, so I mean, wouldn't you? Wouldn't I mean? How would you feel about your mom taking your mom out to a good, having a good dinner? You don't think she deserved that? My mom is my mom, and by the way, uh, a female. And if it was a for no, a no, female, no, the fact that she's a female, I would also, I also would take my dad out to dinner. Okay, he did. Did he deserve it? It's not whether he deserved it. It was a gift. But if, I mean, people don't give gifts uh, all day, every day. Of, you know, of the why don't I deserve to have you take me to dinner? Um. I mean, it depends. It takes two, right? No, no. I'm asking you a question. Why don't I deserve to have you take me to dinner? I, hey, if you deserve it, I will take you to dinner. Why don't I deserve it? If you treat me right. If I treat you right, or what if I have sex with you? You owe me. If you make me, I don't owe you. No, you know that's not true. Oh, I see. So, in other words, uh, the only one who's okay, owed so for having right. sex is you. You're saying so now, you now we know who the prost. Now we know who the prostitute is. A prostitute, no. Prostitute is someone who gets compensated yeah. for having sex. And that's that's what you are. So, no, you're saying I'm not talking about. This is not just sex in a relationship. We're talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. You girl. just said your your you, your friends don't go home with you after a date, do they? We're not talking about. I met this guy at church, and you know we're not going to have sex until we get married. Why do I owe you dinner if I'm dating you? Why do I owe you that? I'm just saying it takes two. I, no, no, forget that. Doesn't that's not an answer. It takes if, you know, Fine. It takes two. So, okay, but, so I tell you, it takes two credit cards to pay for dinner. I'll bring up my credit card. You bring up yours. That is being cheap. Uh, no, 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 no. You're the selfish. cheap one. You that are the cheap, cheap one. You selfish. are the cheap one because you don't want to pay for your own dinner. In that case, that, uh, in that case, a man does not even need a woman. <laughs> That's how you're starting to see my my point of view. I don't need a woman. Okay, All I need you for is your vagina, and the rest I don't really need. I don't want to hear you yapping, and I don't want to be paying. I don't want to be paying to feed you. Do you think that's how your mother was looked at? What? I don't. I don't care how my mother was looked at. I, would, oh, I, not, I did not. I did not date my mother. She's a female. She's I did a female. not date my mother. It don't matter. She's a female. There's plenty of females out there I would not buy dinner for. I've had female bosses. I wouldn't buy them dinner. I've had other females. The fact that someone's a female does not mean they're entitled to food. I think you got your head up your ass. Now, but darling, again, uh, you know, you, you are, all you're proving is that you're a prostitute. 
deserve it, and I guarantee Oh, now you need a coach in the background telling you yeah, what to say. That's where I get off the boat there, dear. Tell your friend if she wants to call in, she should buy a telephone. Mm. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Oh, Rosia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tom. What do I hear in the background? Oh, I'm sorry. That was my sister. You tell her to shut up. If I hear her voice during this call, I'm hanging up on you. Okay. Um, no, no. Tell, no, 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 no. tell her what I just said. <laughs> you said if you don't shut up, you can hang up on us. I, by the way, I'm not hanging up on us. I'm hanging up on you. The three of us are not in on a telephone conversation here, okay? It's you and me, and that's it. If I hear her voice, that's the end of the call. All right, I have a question. Does she know you. that? Yes, I already told her. All right, that's that one syllable, and you're gone. Okay, um, I have a quick question for you. Uh, why do you hate women so much? Like, every time on your show, you say, I don't. You I don't. Are you sure? I, I There's nothing like a vagina. Tell you what. Fantastic. Couple of nice breasts. Love them. Really? Yeah. Well, why are you so mean to the woman, though? Like, every How? Time I hear you, I, like, I, I'm, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I love your show, okay? Yeah, I always right. listen to it because yes. I, I hear it on my way home from work. I always do. Right. And you make me laugh, you know, when I'm having Good. a day. But, but then again, you piss me off. <laughs> why? It's because you talk so much stuff about women. Like what? I, what do I say? It's, be, it's because, okay, honestly... You guys make us the way we are today. Okay. What is it that I have said that offends you? Because you you say that no man should take a woman out to dinner or you guys should, they should not get married. You're not entitled to dinner. Why should we take you out to dinner? Okay. People that have sex with you, don't you take them out for dinner? They just do uh, you, do you That's that's you? called prostitution. Oh, so you, oh, so you you get prostitutes, right? That's what No, that is prostitution. If if I have sex with you and therefore I owe you dinner, that's called prostitution. Oh, well, every, like, every time I hear you... Watch your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. Some men are really mean to, you know, to women, too. You know, some le some girls don't deserve Nobody that. forces you to date those guys. Yes, I know. Um, also, I was going to... Since I, everyone says that you, like... All my friends say that you look like you hate women so much. You have anger toys, uh, them, right? You keep saying the same thing, and I, I said it's well, not true, but you keep saying... Okay, well, it seems like that. I was going to... Did you ever get breastfed when you were a baby? Because I don't remember. Do you remember if you were breastfed? Yes, because they so, told me. And oh, but you don't remember it. No, but you don't remember it. Someone told you that. Um, no, I think I think I saw much hate towards women because you had never. Do you that remember? Ever. You do you? By the way, dear, if you see, I've been breastfed many times. If you would see some of the breasts that I've had in my face. <laughs> I've been breastfed many times as an adult. Trust me. I know. I, I, I bet you've been breastfed a lot of times. Oh now. yeah. Have you, have you been breastfed when you're a baby though? Because when you're I when don't. You're I don't remember it any more than you happen. do. I don't remember it any more than you do. Hmm. Well, I don't know, Tom. I, again, I like your show and everything. <laughs> well, you I said that first, already. My first time caller. So it, it shows. Did someone ever break your heart? Everybody with a penis has had his heart broken. So that's why you're that's why you're mean to women. I'm not mean to women. Well, you give other guys advice, and you guys and you like. You I tell them don't advice. spend money on women. That doesn't mean I'm mean to women or hate women. It just means uh, everybody should pay equally. You know, women are equal. Women uh, fought for equality, and I agree. So if we go to dinner, you pay half, and I pay half. It's equal. Yeah, it should go fifty fifty, but sometimes the guy could treat out the woman. Sometimes. Why should we? Thing. Why should we? Well, because you know, not all women are nice and everything, you know. But at least why women, should we pay? Because we're there for you, you know. Well, we're there for you too. Is that does that have value? Why don't you buy us dinner? <laughs> I think, honestly, I, I understand where you're coming from because you're right. Everyone should go fifty fifty, you know. But it isn't hurt. You wanted equality. And I believe you should get equality. Really? Yeah, that means you pay half. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.